Call the member for Bendigo. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Well, here we are at the end of the sitting week, and I have this morning and again tomorrow morning, we'll be doing a round of media encouraging people back home in Bendigo and central Victoria to be kind to one another and be patient this weekend. Uh, we've all looked forward to the reopening in Victoria. And in regional Victoria, we've had a little bit of a taste of what it looks like. Uh, we have been out of lockdown for a few weeks now, um, and with that has come the coronavirus. We have had a few cases, which we haven't seen for quite some time. Uh, that has caused um, a number of people to be infected and a number of businesses to be closed. And I did want to give a shout out to those businesses and those workers currently in isolation and say thank you. Thank you for doing the right thing in being in isolation. Thank you for getting tested. Uh, thank you for closing your doors to keep the rest of us safe. Whilst we have very high vaccination rates in Bendigo, we are first dose above 95 per cent, there are some in our community who can't get vaccinated. Uh, they could be children under 12, and as a mother of two under two, uh, I am a bit nervous about what the next few months mean for our children who, at the moment, are not eligible to get vaccinated. There's also to the people in our community who, uh, for health reasons, cannot get vaccinated. Uh, and uh, Bendigo Health locals tell me, local GPs tell me that's about 1%. Uh, then we have a group of people who are just, uh, for whatever reason, just not really engaged. Uh, then we have our people who are our anti-vaxxers, people who've chosen not to get vaccinated, and that um, businesses and schools and organisations tell me that's about 2 per cent, 2 per cent of volunteers, 2 per cent of workers. So it's a very small minority of people who've chosen not to get vaccinated, but they are vocal. But what I would say to all the businesses that are opening this weekend, all our retail businesses, all our hospitality venues that are reopening for the first time, or that are increasing their capacity. Uh, if you do get angry people, uh, they are a very, very, very small minority. Uh, they may not be from our town, they may have snuck out of Melbourne, uh, but they are not the majority. The majority of us have chosen to get vaccinated. The majority of us, the vast overwhelming group of us, believe in the health advice, believe in the science, and have done the right thing and gone out there and get vaccinated. I am frustrated that it has taken so long. Uh, what we've demonstrated in regional areas like Bendigo and Central Victoria was if we had the supply earlier, we would have got vaccinated earlier. Uh, we could have opened up earlier. I also want to acknowledge and thank the, the Victorian government for the roadmap. It is the right roadmap, as we have seen. We need to reopen slowly so that we can stay on top of the virus. Just the businesses alone in my part of the world that have had to close because they've become ex exposure sites is extraordinary. Uh, schools are closed because they're exposure sites. Um, businesses have closed because staff are in isolation and they can't fill shifts. Uh, this is the reality of opening up. It's not being alarmist, it's just being practical. And what really disappoints me, as we go into this stage of reopening, these businesses have no federal government support. These workers have no federal government support. JobKeeper ended in March. We are now reopening. Uh, businesses are having to close because of COVID-related reasons, yet they have no financial support. Last year, in 2021, there was some support from the federal government. Uh, this year, there is none. And that is so disappointing when we have businesses and workers trying to do the right thing. It's not going to be this glorious freedom day that the Prime Minister is pretending that we are going to have. We are going to be living with this virus, and living with this virus is scary for a lot of people, a lot of businesses. It is scary for people who are worried about cash flow. They are exhausted in my part of the world. I know that Sydney has been through their own COVID scare, and I understand and appreciate what's going on in the ACT because we are here. But in Victoria, and in particular regional Victoria, we've been going through this for 18 months. It has been a yo-yo, in and out, in and out, and we are exhausted. Workers are exhausted and businesses are exhausted, but they are following the health advice and we're almost there. And I put a call out to the federal government again in the few months that we have, until we are into next year, help every job be saved. Help every worker um, get the support that they need. 
help these businesses get through. I also ask everyone to be your best self this week and next week and every week. Be your best self and respect each other. I think